we've just explained uh, tints which is this part here and with our right mouse click where we're going through all of these this has been explained in another tutorial how to make this kind of menu is done with this program and these settings we've explained this one in a previous tutorial and now next up is our open box configuration we can reconfigure open box but that's just a program that's run if there are ever if you've made any changes but these things matter matter and don't matter depends open box auto start i copy pasted the original antergos configuration inside so this is the original one and here my personal things start so i'm gonna say start my compton configuration which is exactly the same as what's in here but the compton file is different it's my configuration file not the one for antergos i do not choose to have a volume icon from this kind of program but i want to have a more geeky kind of program as you can see and that's for my uh, Boost Bluetooth headset. And then Plank, you know, Plank has started. So the auto start is the place where you start things. Um, Tint 2 is this thing down here that's installed. And Alex Polkit was the one from uh, here, Antergos. So I can get rid of this one here. And that's. Um, that's for, for instance an update there's an update available and then he'll ask your password as root and you get this pop-up that's the policy uh, authenticator and this one is just for convenience otherwise i have to start up the computer and then press the numeric lock key and now it's standard on so that's the auto start for our open box by the way it's in dot config slash open box there are all the important files rc actually we don't have to go into this because rc is our um, our menu sorry not our menu our keyboards our keyboard shortcuts and our settings my mistake very important not to mix it up this is open box menu this is our menu but our menu is unimportant. Why is it unimportant? Because we create it. We create it on the fly or with pipe static and all. So this is the result. That's the result of what we run an OB menu generator. This is important as the key, but do we go in here? Yes, you can. In the, in the start, when I started an open box, I was adding things in here, copy pasting things in here, and then I thought there must be an easier way of course there is an easier way so you should go actually to the the keyboard shortcuts which is the OB key and this is a better way to edit anything and everything and I have made some tutorials on Eric Dubois how to edit things in here and but I've copy pasted now all keys I need are in here like for instance the Windows 4 Super 4 and and the super 8 and the super 4 again there's an issue with the super 4 i don't know why it doesn't do it so it's going to the corners super 9 super 3 super 6 super 5 super arrow up don't need to say it anymore i have a screen key eric with a con key it stops here <laughs> everything works Control Alt T, terminal, Windows return, terminal again. So all these things work. Check out what keys there are. It's all on erikdubois.pe. So that's why um, we have this here. So this we we ex we're explaining two things now because of this file. This file is all of the settings of OpenBox and including also the keyboard shortcuts. And that's why we quickly went to. The keyboard shortcut so that's explained as well now okay